All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your desktop software for use when we're programming on the version 11 lathe, the Herco software for the lathe. So if you're familiar with the mill, you don't have to do anything in part setup. You can go right into stock geometry, set up your stock, and go ahead and draw. On the lathe, the back side of the chuck or the face of the spindle is part zero I'm sorry, is machine zero in Z. So that's where everything will go from. And depending on this, the version of software you have, if we leave that at part at zero and we try to go negative to turn from the face of the part back, for example, the control knows, it's smart enough to know that it can't turn that way because there's a headstock and so forth there. So you'll get an error. Some of the newer versions of version 11 or the newer versions of the software will allow you to do that, but it obviously your graphics won't work out. So to set this up properly, we need to put in either a correct or an arbitrary value on our part setup. So let's go through and see what that looks like. So if I go to the part setup screen, I have all of the work ops, offsets here that I can use. I'm just going to use number one, and I'm going to put in seven inches. So basically from the back of the chuck or the face of the spindle, out seven inches or where my Z0 is going to be. The chuck width is three and a half inches. We'll see where that is set here in a minute. We got our chuck jaws, and then you have some material hanging out there. So if you're picking an arbitrary number, just make sure it's a large enough number that you're gonna clear all of that for graphics. You could make this seven inches, 11 inches, it doesn't matter, as long as the number is big enough to get that part outside of the chuck jaws in graphics. So I'm gonna put seven. Now let's talk about setting up our stock geometry. We click on the stock geometry tab there, and we have some values here we can put in. We can select to manually size the stock, yes or no. If that's set to no, then none of this information will matter. It will just create some stock a little bit bigger than whatever we're trying to do, just like it does on the mill. However, on the lathe, it's very um, advantageous for us to go ahead and say, yes, we're going to set some stock. In this case, I'm going to tell it it's two inches diameter. It has a one inch through hole or a one inch diameter bore all the way through the part. We're going to reference the machine zero here, and we're going to call that from the Z zero point. So all of these numbers over here for stock length and things like that will come from the zero point. We'll see that here in just a second. So. If I put seven inches in here for my part setup, and I typically will try to use whatever number here for our stock length that is in our work offset here. In a second, I'm gonna go add a little bit more to this to show where we could face something off. But if I put the same value for set of seven inches as I have in my work offset, and it's showing me here what my work offset is, I told you that we'd see where the value of three and a half inches, that's the thickness of the chuck body itself without the jaws, that's just the body. That's being displayed here, nothing we can do with it, it's just information. But if I go to draw this now, you'll see that, number one, we have a two inch diameter part with a one inch through hole, and we have started drawing or cutting this from the zero point here, and the face of the part is exactly at Z0. If we go back here to our stock length, and I add, let's make this seven inches and 50 thousandths, that's gonna go from the back of the chuck out seven inches, 50 thousandths. Well, our Z0 is only seven inches from the back of the chuck. So basically what that's gonna do, it's gonna give me 50 thousandths sticking out here in front of zero. And that's how I would control if I was actually facing this part off to Z zero. That's how I would control where that is. So these numbers are pretty easy to work with once you understand that. So you put a value in here for uh, whatever your work offset, offset is plus whatever you're facing off. Um, it's best if we, if we reference machine zero, we can reference the part zero. If I say that here, 
and go to draw that. Pretty much going to see the same thing. But I typically will leave that set to machine zero. And that way I'm referencing more of the setup that's going to be on the machine. So hopefully this helps a little bit in understanding our graphics and our stock geometry. And we'll be using this as we go forward in programming all of the parts in the class.